From cars to bikes to boats and planes, engineers are always trying to revolutionize their industry, and sometimes they come up with some pretty extraordinary designs. I'm Glenn, and today we're bringing you 15 unusual vehicles from around the world. This episode of Mind's Eye Design is brought to you by Zetylus Stinger, an emergency escape tool that can save your life with a sharp razor to cut your seatbelt, a two-stage spring-loaded window punch, and can even be used a phone charger in your car. For more information on this product, the link is in the description below. Number 14. Built by aviation and motor car engineer William Stout in 1932, the Scarab is considered by some to be the world's first minivan. The aircraft heritage is obvious in its steel frame and all aluminum body. It had a rear engine in the back, which was unusual at the time, meaning the car was able to maximize the amount of room inside. The front seats could swivel, the back seat could lay down like a couch, and there was even a fold-out table available. Unfortunately, with the price of $5,000, the equivalent of $80,000 today, only nine are believed to have ever been built. Number 13. Designed by Daryl Starbird, the Vantasta looks like a van with a Reliant Robin attached. The base consists of a 1972 simple Ford van, while the nose gives it a more futuristic feel. A modified version went on display at the Oakland Roadster Show in 2010 that even featured unique wing doors. Inside, you'll find a stereo, TV, bed, and a two-person cockpit. The original is currently on display at Starbird's National Rod and Custom Car Hall of Fame Museum. Number 12. Unleashed in 2008, the monster motorbike from hell runs about 30 feet in length, 10 feet in height, and weighs in at 13 tons. The bike's frame appears to be an upside-down ladder design with wheels and tires from Caterpillar. Its Detroit diesel engine is hooked to a six-speed Allison automatic transmission, providing enough power for the motorbike to even crush cars. Its owner, who spent three years building it, grew tired of sharing the highway with inconsiderate motorists, so he designed a motorbike that would leave no doubt as to who was king of the road. Number 11. Unveiled in the summer of 2008, the Deco Liner looks at first glance like a short, bright purple limo. However, there's an even more interesting secret inside. Hidden within is a 92 Harley Sportster nicknamed the Deco Scoot, which has a streamlined aluminum body so that the deco liner could allow the minimum rear height needed to accommodate a 39 and a half inch tall motorcycle, it had to have front wheel drive. It also houses a nine foot long aluminum electric powered ramp upon which the deco scoot sits, allowing the bike to be unloaded at the touch of a button. Number 10. Designed and built by James V. Martin in the early 1930s, the Martin Aerodynamic was originally planned as either a two- or four-passenger sedan. Its fully covered rear wheels and a distinctive sloping front give it a completely unique aesthetic. Powered by a four-cylinder water-cooled rear engine, the vehicle has an airplane-type suspension of Martin's own creation, dubbed the Aviator Cord Suspension System, which has no springs. Unfortunately, the Martin Aerodynamic never made it out of production, and despite Martin's efforts at promotion, both models were purely experimental cars. As the Great Depression was in full swing at the time, well, that definitely had an effect. Number 9. This miniature spaceship is a Surcraft named Gettin' Round. The watercraft was built in 1966 using reinforced fiberglass with built-in buoyancy tanks. All told, it measures 7 feet in diameter and weighs 120 pounds without an engine. One thing that's missing? A built-in steering mechanism. The driver simply shifts side to side to maneuver as if they were on water skis. 
In fact, the Searcraft is powerful enough that it can even pull a water skier. Number 8 The first PZL M15 took to the skies in 1973, at a time when the USSR was looking at new ways to increase food production and cut food imports by phasing out the old AN-2 biplane. Polish engineers took up the request and the aircraft began to take shape with a twin boom tail, a pair of over and under wings connected by struts, and huge 377 gallon tanks for chemicals. Its unusual shape led to the nickname Belfagor, a demon who seduces people by suggesting ingenious inventions that will make them rich. Although the Soviets planned to order 3,000 aircraft, ultimately they only made 175, as it was inefficient and expensive to build. Number 7 Unveiled in 1929, the Majestic was revolutionary, looking like a motorbike with some old-fashioned automobile elements on top. In fact, the steering is more in line with vintage cars than vintage bikes as it is done with a central rotating hub and a push-pull shaft which moves the whole thing. The designer was one of the first people to consider mass production techniques for auto manufacturing, employing the use of steel presses to create the bodywork. His forward thinking was picked up on by industry heavyweights such as Yamaha and BMW in the years to come. Number 6 The MB200 was a bomber aircraft designed in the 1930s by the French and later used by several countries. The aircraft was a twin-engine, high-winged monoplane with a fixed undercarriage and an enclosed cockpit. The aircraft had defensive machine guns in the nose and dorsal gun turrets with a bomb payload of 2,600 pounds. It only had a maximum speed of 177 miles per hour, which was slow even for the standards of the time. And although production in France totaled 208 aircraft around the time of the Second World War, it was quickly relegated to second-line tasks. Number 5 Considering the helicopter shape of this catamaran, you'd think it was possible to fly on water. The Helicat first splashed down in 2013 and was designed and built for rough water. Even in whitecap waves, it can reach speeds of 20 to 30 miles per hour, while on a calm day, it can top out at 40 miles per hour due to its standard twin Honda 60 horsepower engines. And since it has no sides, waves wash right over the boat. Pricing on this one will run you around $75,000. Number 4 Although the design looks futuristic, this bus was actually driving around on the streets of Paris back in the 1950s. Designed with the second level sitting on top of a Citroen U55 truck chassis, this transformation created what we now know as the U55 Citirama. Originally commissioned to be used as tour buses in the post-war era, they featured wraparound glass windows and a removable roof allowing for a completely panoramic view of the city on a warm day. Number 3 The Snaefel hybrid motorcycle has an actual car as a sidecar. This hybrid took a staggering 10 years to finish at a cost of around $20,000. The motorbike and car combo look almost like conjoined twins as there is a clean, single-body finish enveloping the whole vehicle. It combines a triple-engine 1,000cc Laverta motorcycle with various parts from a Volkswagen GTI, an Audio 80, and a Citroen. The outfit door is built in a Lamborghini style and was mostly constructed out of carbon fiber, as were the open roofs. Number 2 the Bartini Baria VVA-14 was a vertical takeoff amphibious aircraft developed in the USSR with a look reminiscent of a post-apocalyptic world. The aircraft had a wing-in-ground effect that allowed it to take off from the water and fly at high speed over long distances with a maximum speed of 472 miles per hour. At the same time, it was also designed to be able to fly just above the surface of the sea using an aerodynamic ground effect. 
The only remaining VVA-14 is in a dilapidated condition at the Soviet Central Air Force Museum, where it has sat since 1987. Number 1 The B-120 Wraith is a stripped-down motorbike that looks like something out of a futuristic science fiction movie rather than something you can see on the road today. The Wraith is faster than anything in its class, and in 2008, it even broke the world record to prove it. Power comes from a 120 cubic inch V-twin engine and a six-speed gearbox capable of producing a top speed of 185 miles per hour. Pricing on this luxury motorcycle will run you $92,500. Number 2 It goes without saying that you'll find the unusual just about anywhere you go at any time. And there's never a shortage of these different looking vehicles to be found. Who knows, maybe the next big thing is right outside your door. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.